Afternoon guys, uh, just doing a quick review of um, my new tent which is the Berghaus Freedom 5 Nightfall. There is two of us going to be doing this because it's a massive tent so you can't really do this on your own I don't think but we'll see how it goes. So let's go and have a look. But, no, it's not too bad and it is on wheels as well so you can wheel it around so you can just see the wheels on the back there so it makes it just a little bit easier to move. I haven't pegged out the guy ropes because as you can see I haven't really got much space to peg them out I can probably peg a few of the front ones out but it doesn't really matter guy ropes only take sort of five minutes when you tent up so that took about um so that took about 20 minutes in total which is probably half the time it takes me to pitch my other Van Gogh and the awning so that's a lot of time saved already um let's go and have a look inside Yeah, so as you can see, I haven't taken these off, but I'll do that later. So this is the porch area. Um, so it's, it's quite a big size. I can go all the way around. Does that unzip all the way? Do you want to just unzip all that, just to show it? Oh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, okay. So it just gives you an idea. So it's quite a big porch area there. So this is the porch area. Um, nice and big as you can see. Um, yeah, fit a few bits of camping equipment in there. Definitely fit a few chairs in there. That just gives you an idea of the size there. The air beams feel absolutely solid. I was worried to be honest that these wouldn't stay up because when we were pumping them up before, it's like they were just not really coming up properly. But what happens is, as soon as you start pulling out the bigger guy lines, which are these big red ones here, um, the tent just kind of takes shape. And then you just pull it round and then adjust your pegs and then you're pretty much done. Should we go and have a look inside? Does that open all the way? It'll go to there, yeah. Oh, or we can stop halfway. I'll just open it all out. So you can open it all out, see what it looks like. Full of bugs. Okay, just go on the side though. She doesn't want to doesn't wanna, doesn't wanna let the mosquitoes in. So. There we go. Just for... Oh, there we go. And we do our bug screens anyway. Right, okay, go on then. Let's go inside. So this tent this tent comes with the inner already pitched inside it. Um, I don't know whether that's normal or not. Um it didn't come that way on my Van Gogh, so I don't know whether that's a thing with Bergos tents, but it saved a lot of time. So it's quite a nice size, that. So you've got these vents down here. I thought this would have a lot more pockets, storage pockets to be honest, but it doesn't seem to have that many. So we've got some storage pockets here. One, two, three, four, five. That's to seem a little bit flat on the ground. Um, maybe that needs to. Oh, these are these are just actually. So possibly they need to come up a little bit. So we've got another side door here. So that's a nice big size. And have we got the same on the other side? Yeah. So we've got another door on this side as well, which I'm not going to bother unzipping, to be honest. Um, loads, of, loads of big windows. Just unclip those for you. So 
so they fold either half down or fully down. So we do have some kind of storage pocket on the door. Oh, I think that's for the windows. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, we've also got these as well, these Velcro fasteners. I presume they're for running cable up. Um, so they're really handy, didn't have them on the last tent at all. And we've also got a light hanger here. That was one thing that my last tent was missing and it was a pain in the backside. So we've got the night four bedrooms. Um, these are pretty dark. The camera's compensating a little bit for the light here. So the U's it that closed. Let's just see how, how good that is. So it's pretty sunny outside at the moment. The sun's out, it's about six o'clock. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a hell of a difference compared to my last tent. The camera is compensating for the light a little bit there, but that's a lot darker than the last tent I had. Um, you basically couldn't sleep when the sun was, sun was out. So um, they're, they're pretty good then. Pretty impressed with them. We've also got um, your little light hangers here as well. Um, these look like, I'm not sure what they are, they look like some kind of ventilation. Oh yeah, we've got, You've got ventilation as well here if you need it. So that's pretty good. And is this a, an actual fully zipped in divider? Yeah, it's zipped in as opposed to free hanging as well. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's so a great... it can be removed, it's zipped to the floor as well. To keep oh, it. that's a great feature there. But yeah, that's a, that's a brilliant feature. Let me just go back outside. You've also got your vents here as well. They're fantastic. I think they zip all the way down. Yeah, so they zip halfway down. So that's brilliant. Um, I'm not actually sure how to get how how to get out of here tomorrow. I think I've locked myself in. Yeah, I think I've I think I've actually locked myself in the tent somehow because I can't see. It's so dark. It's so dark that I don't know where the zips are. Oh wait. Okay, so just remember that the zips kind of start from that red mark there. So it looks to me like the left bedroom is smaller than the right bedroom, is that right? Yeah, that was. Yeah. Yeah, so it is a five man tent, this, so it looks as though the setup is that this bedroom over here will take two people, and this bedroom, which is the larger bedroom, will take three people. What's great about this is that the divider between the bedrooms is actually zipped in place. In a previous tent that I owned, the divider was just kind of clipped up on little hanging things, and the problem with that is you can see around them and stuff like that and you can basically see everything that's going on so you don't really get a lot of privacy so that's a lot more private with that zip as you can see there i mean you, you really can't see what's going on in that bedroom at all not that you'd be doing much in a tent anyway because it's got very thin walls but you know it's quite handy you can get dressed and stuff like that or undressed so another feature we've got the a2 inputs on that side and that side and again problem with my previous tent was that the a2 input was only on one side so Whenever you got the electrical hook up, you had to have a really massive cable if it was on the wrong side of the tent. So you had to run it right the way around the back of the tent and through. But that's got both sides, so that's absolutely brilliant. So we've got some zips here as well that the air beams are zipped into. Again, you can see they're absolutely solid. What I've seen people doing with these tents on campsites is they just keep pumping and pumping and pumping. And it looks as though the air beam hasn't got enough pressure in. And what happens, they just keep going and eventually the air beam just blows up. And then the tent's absolutely useless and you've got to pay about a hundred pounds for a replacement beam. We've also got this little 
porch feature here as well which is great again i haven't pegged this out i couldn't be bothered doing this for the video so this has got its own little mini air beam in here which just inflates there and again that's just quite nice for keeping the rain off the side of the tent you know if you're just nipping out of the door or wherever it's a really nice feature though. this is a really great feature as well what you're able to do is pack away the guy lines like this so you can roll them all up when you're done and then you can just pop them in there one of the things I hated about my last tent was that the guy lines were always flailing around in the back so when you took the tent out the guy lines would all be tangled up but this really keeps them nice and neat and it, it looks as though it's got that feature on every single guy line yeah again there's another one there that's kind of cool there just slot that in there that's a great little feature Alex has just put the carpet in now so we're going to have a quick look at that how's the carpet Have a look. Are these clipped on or something? Oh, yeah. yeah. So. Well, it's quite plush, isn't it? Though? Do these clip in as well? No, right. That's a really nice feature, that the way they're cut out around the poles. Um, nice quality in it. You can throw that down in the department store and probably never wear out to be honest. That's a really good quality carpet that I'm impressed. Is it Hessian? Hessian back is it? I think it's, I think it's Hessian back. So uh, thanks for watching the review guys. Uh, in summary, um, this seems to be a really great tent. I haven't really tested it out in bad weather or anything like that. It's one of those things, isn't it? You buy a new tent, if it leaks, you just send it back to the shop. This has got a hydrostatic head of 6,000, um, which is like insane, to be honest. In other words, it's going to survive a storm. What we're going to do is take it out on a campsite in a few weeks and just give it a proper test out and um, give it a run for its money, see what it's like. But yeah, I'm pretty impressed. The amount of space is just bonkers. I mean, you could fit a family in here easily and you wouldn't have any shortage of space. Really, really impressive tent. So thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully see you on the next video. Take it easy. Cheers.